So hello and welcome back to another video and today we're talking about coins of Uruguay. So these are the earliest coins. I'm going to have a cutoff date for these ones. Uh, the date is 1953 which includes these uh, copper nickel coins. So these coins only go up to 1953. But So the first thing is that the last silver coin issued by Uruguay was 1954, 20 uh, centavos or centimos. God, I wish I'd just use one, you know, just one denomination, not centavos, centimos, centesimos, whatever else. So anyway, uh, 19, let me check that. Yeah, 1954. And that had a similar design to this one. This one is the 1942. So these are coins issued between pretty much 1901 and 1943, which is this dated coin, or 1951, should I say, which is this bronze coin. But the earliest coin I've got is the 1969. I do have a four centavo somewhere. So this is two centimos. God, I keep on getting confused. And this one is a large coin. And if you do collect these type of coins, you would probably notice that this one is similar to the Paraguayan uh, coin issued of the same denomination, issued in 1970. So this one is A, so it's minted in Paris. And in this condition, it's probably 5 to $10. But in higher grades, uh, you'll be talking, you know, Probably hundreds of dollars, especially for uncirculated. So this one's probably, I'd say fine condition maximum. Very fine is the absolute maximum, uh, but I wouldn't go very good. For that, you'd actually need to have the entire face of the Sun of May. So this is the Sun of May. So it's either one or two things. Well, it does represent the Sun of May, uh, the independence period of 1810, or can remember commemorate the um, Inti, so the Inca god. But Uruguay is fair away from the Inca uh, territory, but it could have been imported, like you know, in Australia, we're very well versed in the Roman and Greek gods, which had nothing to do with Australian history at all. So that is the two. So these come in one, two, and four. Centimos. Then we have the other denominations. So initially from 1901 to 1941, except 41 centimos, which was last issued in 1936. Now we have these copper nickel coins, one, two, and five centimos. Then we had silver coins uh, in 10, but I don't have the 10 centimos, but it was last issued in 1893. So between 1893 and this large coin here, 1930, so that's about 37 years, they didn't actually issue a 10 centimos. And this is a large coin. So it's actually quite a nice coin. So 1930, had a mint of about 5 million. So Republica Oriental de Uruguay. This one's very fine condition. And it has a puma on it. So this coin... It's one of the higher demand coins for um, Uruguay, and they're currently used on the 10 peso coin, so the biometal coin of that date, which, yes, I do have it out, which you can actually currently get in circulation. So if you go to Uruguay, you can get one of these. Current exchange rate's about 50 cents. But if you wanted to get a set of these, which I have done another video on before, so the animal series, eh, probably five to $10 you'd be paying. And this one has the coat of arms on it. But anyway, that's that coin. And this coin actually comes in two versions. And then you got the, this one's probably in very good condition. Uh, but a bit harder to get, so it's 936. Only 2 million minted. Yeah, probably in that condition, less than $5. So that's, these are the two coins to get if you get in Uruguay. Because the, really the best design. If we look at the other coins, the 1, 2, and 5 centimos, as you can see, uh, these ones are pretty basic in their design, just denomination. 
and the A mint mark represents Paris. And just plants. Don't know what plant it is either. And on the back, we just have the Sun and May as well. So 1901, 1909, and I've got two more. 1924. So in this time period, Uruguay only mint the coins roughly once every 10 years. So you got 24, then the next date is 1936, and after that is 1941. So that's the last year of that coin. Uh, issue for two centimos. So what you want to keep is coins that are pretty high grade. So these ones are probably five to ten dollars. Uh, the lower grade ones, yeah, probably not too much. I'll probably whack them on eBay for like uh, probably five dollars each and see how they go. Um, because because I'm in Australia, Uruguay and coins don't really sell for uh, that much money. Then we have the one centimos. So as you can see, the smallest coin issue for circulation, copper nickel. Okay, 01 and 24. So that's those two coins. And then they're not readers as well. Okay, so if we have a look at the two centimos, so we've got two different metals, got bronze, copper, nickel. So the bronze coins is issued from 1920, uh, 1942. But they didn't issue a one centimos. So they keep the issue in the copper nickel coin. As you can see, this one still has mint last year. Not really well circulated. 1948. So probably, you know, 10 to $20 for that coin. Because it's in high grade. So then we have the five centimos. So we'll have a look at the bronze coin. Obviously a bit damaged. But as you can see, they're just... Continued to use the same dies. This has S, so these are minted in Chile. Because uh, Uruguay hasn't minted their own coins for quite a long time. This one is interesting because it has die cracks on it. So this is what you'll be looking for in Uruguayan coins. So Dow has die cracks, Uruguay's die cracks. Sun and goes into the Sun of May. So that's also an error coin. So that's Definitely one that I would be, yeah, probably, probably selling on. Because Aero Coins, but it does have some bronze disease on the actual coin. So it's really a drawback of that coin. Okay, the two silver coins I got. So the 20 centimoles has a silver content about $2.50. This one's silver content probably about $6. But... Because they're silver, you'll be paying a bit more money. Uh, so 1942, you're probably fine grade. Yeah, probably about five to ten dollars for that. This one, you'll be paying about twenty to thirty. So I think there's only about five million of these minted. And they did issue a one peso with the design of the puma on it. So that's also. So the animals with the puma, or the puma, is probably a Uruguayan coin that's probably more demand. And it has Artigas on the back of the one peso as well. So that is uh, the earliest coins that I have of Uruguay. Obviously there are coins that are, are a lot earlier. You know, we're talking about the real coins, which are... Uh, uh, which you got the peso for terra as well. So those coins are actually a lot more valuable than the uh, coins that we're showing here. Anyway, hope this helps you with your coin collecting. So just an introductory of Uruguayan coins. If anyone is interested in collecting Uruguay coins, uh, probably go to Uruguay. They should be a lot easier to get there. But... Anyway, have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time, and thank you very much.